Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing an Arteza paint video. They were kind enough to send me out some samples of their colors and some glitters and a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to try out their stuff here. I'm super excited. So I'm going to do an acrylic pour first and what I'm doing is is the Dutch pour because I want to try to get it down to where I'm happy with the outcome. I do apologize for the little shadow here from my phone. I have a resin piece drying that I'm working on and I need to work down on the floor. So anyway, I only mix the paint with water. Nothing else, no silicone, no pouring medium, no uh Flow trial, nothing, just water out of a bottle, bottled water. The white I am using is a better, I, I bought the most expensive white I could find at Michael's, and I believe it was Grumbacher. I don't have the tube, sadly. Um... I'm sorry, no, it was Galleria. Winsor Winsor Newton Galleria. I will show you the tube. This is orange, but that's the brand of white that I'm using. I want to test it out with better brands paints because that may have something to do with the outcome also. So the white is by Winsor Newton, as you just saw, and the rest of the colors are Arteza. Now, they sent me out some of their metallics. So I have three metallics, which are copper gold. Uh, how do you like those technical terms? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Pearl lilac and electric blue. So here are the colors here. That's the electric blue, the pearl lilac, and the copper gold. And then the three opaque colors I'm using are dioxazine purple, very dark purple. I realize there is a very bad um, glare there. Uh, magenta. We have a light magenta. And hot pink. Okay. So that is the palette. So I'm going to pour my weight down. Again, all of those paints mixed with only water and paint. That is it. And the consistency is very fluid, as you can see. Let's try not to start off with a cat hair already. Okay. And any little specks. Get those off of there. Here we go. I'm gonna spread that around town. Just coat the entire canvas. I have so many pieces I'm working on at once. I'm running out of room here. We have all these beautiful new resin art colors that I can't wait to show you guys. And I have a collaboration coming up that I need to finish. So, I've been mighty busy. Mighty, mighty busy. Which is good for me. It's good to keep the mind occupied.
Alrighty. So, a lump or something in there. Some type of a freeloader. Okay. So now I need to get a paper towel. Because God forbid I ever remember to have a paper towel ready. And I'm also trying another blow dryer out today. I'm hoping that it works out. Wait, is that not the biggest air bubble you have ever seen? <laughs> That's a fat boy right there. Bye-bye. You want to pop those air bubbles. You've heard it a million times before. A little piece of black glitter there hanging on for life. All right, so here we go. Let's start off with some dioxazine purple, and then we'll put them right here. Just trying to think if I want to do two pours or what. And we'll see what happens, I guess, with one. Pearl lilac. Electric blue. Nope. Sorry. Magenta. Electric blue. Hot pink. And copper. And now I'm going to end it off with the dioxazine purple again. Okay. I'm going to pour some white around it. You can see how fluid that paint is. It's really fluid. And it is nacho time. Torch time. <laughs> Let me torch that little puddle quick. And I have a little lump over here, I see. So I'm going to swish that out of there, just like so. And here we go, guys. It's showtime. So we're going to go on low with the blow dryer. That is not strong enough. Oh, 
Wow, oh, look at that. Look at that. I have cells coming. It is coming. They are coming. Not hard enough. Not fast enough. So, that did work. You saw the cells coming up, and it did work wonderfully. Now, I blew the crap out of it, so I lost a lot of the cells. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over. Because you can do that in this sport. But I'm not going to totally start over. I am going to partially start over. And what I mean by that is I'm going to put down some white, some color right here with some white around it and go out over it again. Because I'm not so much as looking for to design a piece of art. It would be great if a piece of art came out of it, but I'm more testing with this. So here we go again. As I said, I'm not going to scrape it and start over. I'm going to just report over it. I'm going to use a few of the heavier colors, darker colors, not all of the colors, just some that I feel are missing. So, white around. Oh, it's a lot of white. It's all underneath. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe it with a stick, I think. Just like that. How pretty. Again, only paint and water, guys. I really think I was talking to Leslie on the phone about this, and I really think the white makes a difference. 100 torch it quick now there is a lot of paint on here but oh, torch is running out Just kind of look 
looking to see how much paint is on there. Oh, 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 shit. Hold on a minute, guys. That was bad. Well, I don't have to worry about the paint being on there anymore. So now it's all over me. Oh, let's see here. I most definitely have to get some of this paint off of here. I am covered in paint. I'm going to go this way, and then before I lose this area, I'm going to come back this way. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm actually liking that now. So we'll see how it dries. And um, yeah, we'll see how it dries. I mean, I really, really, when you first swipe the white over the colors before you blow it outwards, when you see those cells form in the center, that's what I'm looking for. Just like if you watch Rinska Downa or Canela Sirocco, you'll see right in the center, they get that nice cluster of cells that form. And that's, to me, what tells you you're on the right path. So, we'll see how it dries and... I shall bring you guys back when it's ready to take a look at. All right, guys, so here is how this beauty dried. Let's see if I could get this. No, I was trying to get the metallic to show. I am going to be resining this piece before I sell it. And. These colors are going to just pop once that goes on there. So when I do resin it, I'm going to make a video of how to resin your acrylic pores. And uh, I will show you it in there. But yeah, the, these colors are just going to really pop right off of the canvas once that resin hits it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Reminder, all artwork is for sale. I'm going to be having an auction pretty soon that I will be announcing. But yeah, a piece like this, that is a 14 by 14, I believe. With resin, you're looking at meh, probably 60 bucks. So, if you are interested, please email me at artbytammy at yahoo.com. And we can discuss it further there. So I want to wish you all a great day. And happy pouring. <laughs>